in a tent, kind of packed away, kind of doing some organizing inside the truck. And we're trying to clean some of this stuff up and make some breakfast. And then we'll head into McCarthy and explore around the town. Everything's all packed up. We're headed back out on the road. Got this gorgeous view. Hopefully only a couple more miles until we get to McCarthy. So So we got a parking spot. We talked to one of the local guys that, that works at one of the lodges and he informed us that there's a restaurant across this bridge and then the first shuttles will start at 8 a.m. that will take us up to Kennecott Mine. So we're kind of getting our gear set up and ready to go. Kind of back over there. Just made it into the actual town of McCarthy. Got the museum. And then I might get some coffee up here, maybe some food. Because Mountain House wasn't quite filling enough. Raw or undercooked food can be hazardous to your health. YOLO. Yum. Our, our tickets for the shuttle that takes us up to the mine. We'll go check out the mine. Waiting for the shuttle to take us to the mine. Right up here. Checking out some of the old mining exhibits. What it would have been like to live here. These old tools. <laughs> See, what did that building used to be? Used to be the main, um, main mine. That's where they pulled most of their copper out. <laughs> They're doing restoration work to try to preserve these old mining buildings for generations to come. Didn't know they had computers in these old buildings. What is this? Got some TNT dynamite. Checking out the old buildings. You can just see they're slowly being taken back over. Window panes broken. Building starting to collapse. Ooh, that one's that building's coming down. 
So it looks like they repainted. Pretty cool. Look at that, babe. I don't know, what is it, like a home? You see the structures. I'm gonna go check out one of the main buildings. Pretty sweet. Wow. This is sick. So cool. So this is where the ore would get dumped out right into the mine carts. There are huge barrels inside this building. Look at how tall that thing is. A huge. This was their power plant. There's generators in there, it's crazy. Can I go in? No. Oh, cool. <laughs> See why people live in McCarthy. You get to wake up to a view like this every morning. Wow. I forgot a blueprint of all the caves. All the stuff that they mined. Pretty crazy. Alright guys, it's really hot out. Um, yeah. Probably should have worn shorts and tank top. Yeah.
out towards the glacier. What's the names again, babe? This is the Root Glacier, and then that's the Kennecott Glacier on the right, or on the left. Mixing it. And this is? What? This big one? Yeah. It's a mix between the both of them. It's a glacial this, moraine. This is all glacier here. You can't really tell because it just looks like rolling hills, but there's ice under, oh, sorry. All right, so we just talked to a ranger and she let us know that in order to fly a drone in the area, we'll have to, what is it, take off and land. We have land. to take off and land in private property because you cannot take off and land in the national park. Um, didn't really know this, glad we kind of talked to some people about that before we did it because it's a $500 fine. If you don't do that, so we're not going to be able to fly the drone anywhere up here, um, but we might be able to fly the drone down there in McCarthy, launch it from there where it's not a state park, and we can fly it and try to get some views of the glacier from way back there, but that's pretty much all we're going to get. Sucks. Hopefully the drone battery lasts pretty long. But it's good to know. We're not going to break any rules. We'll see what we can do taking off down there. Unless we find a local that wants to let us take off from their property. <laughs> yeah. Wish us luck. It's gorgeous either way.